my 21F sister 24F hacked my debit card and left me with 60 cents. Back in July my sister hacked my debit card and charged over $450 while I was on a cruise with my parents and boyfriend. I don't know how she got it. I left it in a safe. So fast forward to a month. My mother came in my room two weeks ago at 2 a.m. She was infuriated asking me why I only had 60 cents left in my checking account when a month ago I had $500. I was completely baffled. And I knew something was off since I barely spent money. I checked my bank statements. And noticed there was charges for Amazon. And marijuana. So I cancelled my debit card. And launched an investigation with my bank. My sister is the only person in my family who smokes weed. And has an Amazon addiction. I got super suspicious so I got my grandma to ask her about it. My sister cried, and owned up to it saying the reason she blew all my money was because she was depressed. Most of the charges she made was the day I left for my trip. Up until August 10th, I had to call my bank, and tell them to cancel the investigation. The bank wanted to press charges on my sister, but I begged them not to. My sister has stolen over $60,000 from my grandparents in the past. My grandma called me crying, saying, you better not press charges on your sister or it will ruin our family dynamic. My grandma basically threatened if I ever filed charges on my sister that she would cut me off. I'm her granddaughter. My grandma gave me the $450 back and told me to get over it. I haven't talked to my sister in two weeks. I'm so upset how she could steal from me like that. Edit. I forgot to mention that my sister had the Amazon packages delivered to her in her neighbor's name. Which her neighbor is a minor. The little girl has no idea about it either. So my sister basically committed theft. And identity theft. Press charges. There have to be consequences for her actions. Your grandmother in enabling her and her taking your sister's side when she wronged you is unacceptable. Let her know. If she supports your sister's behavior, you will cut her out of your life as well. That's shitty as fuck. I'm really sorry. Honestly I just would distance myself from her as much as possible if I were you. Someone who has already stolen 60k with 500 bucks on top is yet to ruin family dynamic. I mean what difference would it make if you do press charges? Maybe a chance at getting better as a human? At age of 21 if you are willing to die for freedom of speech and actions as an independent adult. Then you may very well be prepared for consequences. Addictions are nothing but doists in disguise. I'm speechless. My cousin forged checks in my name. She went into my room and stole my checkbook during a family gathering. And everyone told me it would ruin her life if I went after her legally. My aunt gave me the dollar $2,000 she stole. But guess what? I don't talk to the cousin anymore and she got into some legal trouble after she stole money from a former friend. There was absolutely nothing relationship-wise to be redeemed there. I'm sorry your grandma is pinning this on you. Edit. Wait I just read the 60k stolen from the grandparents. Okay. They are fools. Go no contact with them and the sister. They can forfeit their money. Protect yourself. Your grandma sucks. Your sister sucks and I'd definitely be careful with money around her. More alarming to me is why does your mother know your bank balance? Wait why is your mom monitoring your bank account? You're a grown adult. 1. Your grandma is an enabler. 2. Your sister is an entitled girl. 3. Your mother is controlling. 4. Poor you. Make sure you'll get your part of your grandma's inheritance and run. Or run now if you don't need that money. Also, 
You can ask your grandma if she gives you $60,000 or you should have stolen them to improve family dynamic. You better not press charges on your sister or it will ruin our family dynamic. Quote. So you'll ruin the family dynamic where your sister steals tens of thousands of dollars from other people with no repercussions? Maybe the family dynamic needs to be ruined? My mother came in my room two weeks ago at 2 a.m. She was infuriated asking me why I only had 60 cents left in my checking account. Why the fuck does your mom have access to your bank account? So basically you're just going to do the same thing your whole family has done which is ignore it. Jesus. Someone needs to step up and stop enabling her. This isn't depression. It's been going on for years and she just gets away with it. Yeah. Your sister needs to face consequences. I didn't know you could actually cancel a fraud investigation. I thought once one of those started. It was out of the client's hands. And into the banks. I was in a pretty different situation to yours but I think this part still applies. I had to press charges against my father. And cut off my grandparents entirely even though they had promised me fairly large sums of money. Because it just isn't worth it. From your other comments I could gather that your grandmother isn't just enabling your sister but also gaslighting you into thinking that it's your fault for not spending more time with her. None of that is normal behavior. And your sister needs to see the consequences while your grandmother frankly needs to stay the hell away from you guys because she's only making things worse and should these issues ever come up outside of the family, maybe with a boyfriend. I doubt your sister will be getting the grace that you guys have given her so far. As you said, these are crimes she's committed. Identity theft, fraud and regular theft. And there needs to be a punishment and if possible she needs to be sent to therapy. Suppressing charges will ruin the family dynamic but tolerating theft won't? Tell grandma to double the money or no deal. Your sister stole 60 Kelvins from her own grandparents? Hell no. Go ahead and let the bank press charges. If your grandma is that deluded then she's not worth keeping in contact with anyway. Wait so your sister stole 60k from your grandma? What? Yikes I would run away from your sister no contact. Why the hell is she not in prison? There are several red flags in this about your family. 1. Why does your mother have access to your bank account and why would she be looking at it at 2 a.m.? You are 21 and an adult. She has no right to be doing either of those things. Let alone be pissed at you for your account being empty. 2. Your sister is a shopping addict. A compulsive liar and criminal and your family is enabling her to act this way by threatening you in order to not press charges. 3. Your grandma has no right to tell you not to press charges. She does not control you and is threatening you to get her way. Frankly she's just being a bitch telling you to get over it too. Let the bank press charges and tell the little girl's parents what your sister did and let them decide if they want to press charges for identity theft. Your family can kiss off. You are an adult with your own life and thoughts and can do what you want. It's probably time you moved out of your parents' house too. Get away from this controlling and toxic behavior and cut them off instead. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.